What it do, what it do, what it do, good people. Coming to you live from Tan TV 410. Can people, can we say NYC? NYC point gods. Yes, indeed. Now, listen here, people. I'm, I'm referring to New York City point guards on the strength because yesterday the premiere dropped on Showtime, right? But, however, it's a, it's a photo circling around the city right now. All over on IG, you got the great Frank Spoon James in it, you know. However, I got a shout out to Kyle Garrison, salute big salute OG. He said he sent me he 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 he, he called me and said, "Tell I got something for you." He said, "Check your inbox." I said, "Come on, Kyle, what you what you what you got for me?" He said, "Just check your inbox." I said, uh, "I said all right." And Kyle, don't forget, you, you got to come on the show. So anyway, right, I checked the inbox, and it gives a, it gives a story. Kyle gave me a story on when Kyle and Spoon went to Five Star. They went to Five Star. After they left Five Star, they came back to Spoon House, right? Now, people, for the young people, Five Star was an all American camp that, especially in the, in, in 79, because this is when all this occurred, the summer of... 1979. At this time, it wasn't your Nike camps, your ABCD camps. You had to you you had to go to Five Star if you wanted to play on that next level. If you wanted to play high division ball on the next level. With with, with all that being said, so Spoon and Kyle, they they they, they open up the door. First person they see, the representative from the Gauchos. Now I'm saying this, good people, because y'all see y'all see the guy. On the top right with his hand up, with his finger up, with the number one. I mean, you, you will see a few of them, but three of them got the number one. But we're talking about the across from Chris Mullen. Across from from Pearl. Yeah, yeah. A, a, you, you see him. That's Baltimore on Frank Spoon James. Now, listen here. So he said it was a representative in a, it was a representative in a, in a, in a living room. From the Gauchos. So for the rest of that summer, for the rest of that summer, Spoon played for the Robert C. Marshall and the Gauchos. Now, the story, what, what, what I'm telling you about this story is Frank was the first, per first person to play AU basketball in this area. Let me say this again. He was the first person to play AAU basketball in this area. I mean, mind we ain't had no team at the time. However, not only did he play AAU basketball, he played on another team. Yeah, he played on another team. Now, people people may say, oh, Taz, but you... Yeah. This going into my next point. When we talk about kids going to play with other programs, you know, because we hear a lot about it. We hear a lot about it. But it always happened. It always happened, Right? Now, what I'm gonna say when I say by that, you had the likes of Captain Simpson. They won the tournament out in in, in California. You played with the DC players and with the DC Assault team. I don't even know if they was DC Assault at the time, but they was yeah. But he played with two DC teams, and they went out in California, Vegas, went out there and took it. You had Jamal Carter play with DC Assault. You had Jamal Brown and your Sean Hammonds play with DC Assault. You had your, your, your LaFonte, my favorite point guard, Tate Johnson, play for D.C. Assault. You had Kevin Braswell play with Kate, what it was, the Kansas City team with Cole Young, Young, uh, uh, Corey McGetty, and John Rush. Yeah, Kevin Braswell played with them uh, one tournament. You had Reggie Bryant play with the Broncos. You had Marcus Hatton play with Storm and Norman from, uh, I think it was a, from Delaware. I mean, even today, you got K.J. Evans Jr. playing with Team Durant. And not only that, he's, he's playing, right? So it always, it always, it always been that. It always been that. And the reason why I say that, because that's, that's a, that always, every summer, that's, that's the topic of the, that's the topic of the conversation. Now, I'm going to tell y'all where I stand on it. And it's just my opinion, you know? It's just what, uh, what I, what I like to see. And I know right now, it sounds like it's, it's wishful thinking, Terrence. So what? I could dream. I could dream. I would wish 
we get all our good players on one team. You know what I'm saying? The top coaches on one team, right? And it only got to be all summer, but it could be for, and I know that, like I said, it's whistle picking. It could be for a couple of tournaments, two to three tournaments, right? But they go out there and smash. Go ahead and put that flag back. Come on, bring, bring, bring that bring that flag. Bring win a couple of those tournaments and bring that flag and, and, and stamp that thing back in Baltimore. Reason why? Because I know we come in, we, we, you continue to come in first, second, third, or even fourth. A lot at, at, at tournaments. Oh, everybody going, everybody going to school. Yeah, you you have to win, you have to win, and not only that, that the our our uh, top players will be the magnet to bring in more coaches for the mid majors and even some of the 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 the, 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 the small the the, the 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 it's even mid majors or D junior college D two type type players, but. Regardless of what I'm saying is, they have somewhere to go to get a free education. Everybody. But that's just wishful thinking. So, like I said, I wasn't going to hold y'all long. Just talking. You know what I'm saying? Just proud to see that not only we had somebody who played on an AAU team, but he played on one of the top AAU teams in the country. You see Chris Muller, man. You see the Pearl? Right? You see him? I mean, listen, here, good people. You can always see somebody from Baltimore in the middle uh, uh, on that stage. That's one thing we're going to do. And, and again, thanks again, Kyle, for, sh for, sh uh, for sharing this information. Don't forget, come on on, on, uh, come on, on, on a platform because you got a lot of information. You've been around a lot, and you didn't play this game at, at a high level. So thank you all for, uh, for tuning in. If y'all ain't subscribed to the channel, I need y'all to do that now. Don't be lazy. Don't just look at the videos you're not signed in. No, sign into your, 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 your YouTube, into your Google, and then sign into your, your profile. If you don't have a YouTube profile, it's free. It's free. But I need you because the more the more, the more more y'all like and share these videos, the more it's getting out to everybody else. And it is getting out because it's, it's at the point now that I got other cities and other states want me to do the same thing for them. But I can't do the same thing for them if if if, if my town ain't right. You get what I'm saying? So coming live from Chaz TV. Uh -huh.